guys, um, welcome to vid three of what looks to be, uh, is going to end up being five, I think. Uh, the next one will be a little shorter, I hope. This one's going to run out probably 15 minutes or so. So, uh, basically, this video is going to end up uh, where we're going to stop here, just to let you know. Is, um, I had a little design change with the foundation, with the, with the plywood and the base. So, uh, we'll end on that radius. Uh, and just as a back backup for anybody watching this first time, there's two videos prior to this. Obviously, this is video three of, of however many. Um, so I set out to build a, a rooftop tent, um, after finding, uh, Patrick Remington's, uh, YouTube, uh, no so tent project on YouTube and, uh, jumped into the uh, Facebook DIY, uh, rooftop tent, uh, which I encourage all of you to go check out and get inside there and look at the different ways to do it. And this, what I'm doing is just my version of it, right? Didn't do it exactly like they did it. Mine is a, a little special, <laughs> but um, so through this one also we'll uh, we'll be fitting it to the Jeep, um, the vehicle that we're going to be using, uh, trying to determine uh, the orientation, right, the, of which way we we'll want to mount it. So, all right, to uh, make things go quicker, let's get into it. All right, guys, um, I'm six foot tall, and. I didn't bring my tape measure in here, but I'm just showing you. I'm, I'm sitting off to one side, I'm in the middle. I have plenty of headroom, but off to one side, I still got headroom to sit up and change clothes. Uh, hard to tell, but actually, plenty of room for my wife to squeeze in here with me. This one's only 48 inches wide. Oh, I'm sleep like this. So, plenty of room. Just wanted to give an update because these are things that I've been wondering. Uh, nobody's really showing in their tent. Like, how much room is 48 inches? I've never had a rooftop, so, uh, very curious. Later. Alright. So, not really any progress. I just decided I wanted to put it up on top of the Jeep just to see what orientation I'm really gonna like. I honestly think I want the side um, side folding. I mean, uh, inline folding like this. <clears throat> and the reason being is blasted sun to tell but if I needed to um, I could put some sort of stabilization between these two points to uh, keep it stabilized God. worst time of day to be doing this <laughs> All right, now let me turn the orientation the other way. Be right back. All right. So it looks like my my center section, right? My uh, where am I? At? Can't see it. Right over here. I did it sideways, at least where my boards meet up would both be sitting on my bars. Um, uh, obviously I don't have a ladder yet, but I just, it worries me having that amount of overhang where at least the other way I've got more surface area on the bars. <clears throat> when we're laying inside, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not like that um, I think I like it the other way better and then when I do 
you know, any kind of rain fly if I need to. It can be over my back area, which is where my stuff will be anyhow. So yeah. Tell you what, TJ didn't have a lot of room to work with. And Is what it is. Ah, sorry. Not like you can tell a whole lot by that. Yeah. There it is. All right, more to come. So I got my rails on. Drilled out the holes. Put screws all the way down. This is uh, this is just an idea. I don't know if I'm going to do this or not, but. Um, letting this overlap so when it unfolds this supports the seam um, I just kind of got it tacked up there with some screws at the moment just a thought um, yeah super strut shallow super strut a little bit shallow super strut um, I use for now I use the half inch screws but they don't quite go in as much as I would like them to. Obviously, it's almost three quarter inch ply. Uh, so, you see that. I am probably going to see if I can find three quarter and get another quarter inch of threads because there's not a whole lot of threads into the wood. So, more to come. All right, guys. Uh, quick update, change of, uh, change of design at the last minute. Um, I just felt like doing a little different. I went ahead and just committed to this tent shape, rounded the edge. Um, I don't know if you saw my previous post. I've decided I'm gonna go long ways, ugh, long ways on my Jeep and let the door be off the back. Um, that way I can still, let's take a look at that. That way I can um, put an awning off the side if I want, you know, that kind of covering. So, I made a few mistakes, miscalculations maybe you call it but I think it's gonna be fine. I've got these uh, straps are tight behind here. Feel they're inside. I got them pulled tight. Uh, one of the mistakes I made is uh, a little too loose. I gotta, I gotta adjust to my pinning it down. I just tacked it down, but it'll work. Um, if you are doing this with this tent, I cut my plywood at two 44 inch pieces. I'm gonna give you the hint or give you the advice. Don't cut your two pieces until you're totally to this stage to cut the corners and, and you know the size or, <clears throat> or um, you know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know any other way to have figured out this, you know, the length and everything. So the reason I'm saying that is I could have went about, I said I cut these 44 inches, I could have left at least two inches on each end and still had enough to, to go ahead and, and do this full radius. But now I'm having to tuck it in. Um, thought I was gonna be able to do something different originally, but I'm not. So I'm just gonna, just gonna accept it and uh, change my design to match and call it good. Uh, we've already done like a quick test fit. I've got my foam ordered. I did the Lux three inch. Um, what's they called HD or whatever. There's like regular and there's HD. I'll give you some feedback on that when it comes in. But what I was thinking, the reason I changed this design is <clears throat> um, got to thinking about it. I was gonna have to cut my, I was gonna have to commit to my, you know, $130 piece of foam anyway that I got to spend time making a cover for and making it nice and neat because that's what I want. So uh, I said, screw it. I just commit to the radius and uh, went with it. So 
if you are planning on using this tent with the rounded or any tent that's rounded like this, um, I would say don't cut. Figure out your radius first and maybe cut the uh, length another way. So, all right, just wanted to update you guys on what little bit I had. I also got to rethink the, uh, I think you seen my ladder connections and um, wish the ladder's on the other side, but or, there's the ladder over there. But what I did was I got two, I'm looking for the packaging. I'm pretty sure I threw them away. I got two, um, you see the length here? This, this length, they were both sides were that length. I cut that off, but I didn't have to drill any holes. I bought a pack of uh, four. So you can see there's that one as well. So anyway, bought a pack of four, put a bolt through there, attached this to my board. Uh, we tested it. I'm telling you guys, it's sturdy. Um, the, only, the only downside I gotta do is the what I'm using to mount the uh, brackets. I literally just connected. This is how sturdy the brackets are. <laughs> I just tacked them on here with these sheet metal type screws, uh, with these sheet metal type screws. That's all that is. I mean, they're, they're a half inch, which that's, you know, hollow tube. It's only all you're gonna get. But I'm gonna run a bolt through that first rung um, eventually. And I'm also gonna be using uh, a lot of these carriage bolts. I'm gonna put this carriage bolt through the end and where I'm bolting the bracket to the tent itself. So hard bolting, it ought to be freaking unmovable. Um, what else? I don't know, getting close. Getting close, getting close, getting close. I got a lot of hardware I've got to finalize. You know, everything's kind of like tacked together, the main portion. And I'll probably have an entire video on like different size bolts and such. Um, <clears throat> I apologize who gave me the idea. I don't, I forgot to write it down before I made this update. This is kind of on a whim. So I wasn't sure how I wanted to connect these to uh, the board, but I'm going to go buy some uh, t nuts. I'm going to go look at some t nuts and maybe some bolts to go through and I'm gonna look at the uh, clearance that I have. I'm, I'm shooting, I'm hoping that'll work. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'm sure gonna try. Um, eh, that's about it. All right guys, later. All right, um, let's see. For those of you who may wanna do the radius like I'm doing, um, I'm gonna give you some Ah, stupid pencil. Okay, so. Ah. <laughs> There's the shape. So, corner. So this is the front side, like the door, right? The door end would be here. So this piece here is 14 inches. And then the side, right? This is what you... This is basically what you're looking at right here. Um, back it up. None of this project, I am doing very good at videoing. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, so bear with me, guys. Um, so just to give you an idea, this is that piece. So 14 inches by 19 inches. And then honestly, um, you could probably match the same radius, kind of what I did, as my pole. I took my pole and scribed it. Um, I made some mistakes on my one side. I mentioned that earlier. When I did the front, I did it a little differently and come out with a better radius and added, you know, you know corrected where I made mistakes. But it's a good, smooth radius um, between those two points where my other one was not. Um, I don't really have anything to judge it by um, at all, honestly. Uh, it's a larger radius than a bicycle tire. So it's probably about ugh, it's probably about the same as my 33 inch tire, um, which is what I bent my poles to. 
So honestly, if you just take your poles after you've got the, a good radius bent for them, just match that. If you've got them bent to the tent, just match that radius. So 14 inches, 19 inches, and that's how you do it, right? So this is, this is the squared in. Measure from your corner over 14, measure down 19, and then make your radius and cut it with a jigsaw. And uh, that's what I have ended up with. And other than my mistakes from the other side, which, you know, it is what it is. That's why it's a project, right? Um, I'm very happy with this. And I'll be extremely happy when I get my pad in so I can finish putting this together. Um, I have put so many screws in and out of the bottom. I've got some sewing to do just to fix holes. Um, so I'm trying to help you guys, right? So I, I tore this. The, if you remember I was talking about how you run the drill backwards to melt through it first. It caught that and tore it. So I'll patch that up. Um, but all in all, I mean, this isn't a bad tent, honestly. I'm not an all-weather camper by any means. Um, and honestly, if I get to the point where my wife is really digging doing this camping in the, with this rooftop, then I will probably invest in money in the uh, in a tent. I am. I'm gonna get this thing worked out. I'm not gonna fool with this right now, but um, I can't undo this from the inside. I have to do it from the outside, which it's really just a matter. I could hop up on my Jeep and unzip them and roll them up. So it may not be a big deal here. Um, and I almost think I wanna put, um, it's not, see, I see my mistakes, it's not as tight. I almost think I wanna put a window back here, but I don't know, I haven't really made up my mind there. It's a little loose in places, which, I mean, it's a cheap tent. What do you expect? It's gonna stay together. It'll fold up on my Jeep and I can just take it and go. So, anyway, there's the update. And there's the tent. All right, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, definitely, you know, if you got any comments or uh, anything you would do different so far, uh, post it down in the, in the comment section below. Um, and uh, be looking forward uh, probably next week. Uh, I just released uh, the part two uh, yesterday, and I'm trying to just knock this out. I'm mean, getting really busy in life, so it's hard to, you know, I, I just do this for fun. I'm not a full-time YouTuber, but I, but, more subscribers could push me to that. I'd love to do that one day. So uh, I'm, I'm a little scattered. So thanks for everything and be looking for part four and probably part five. Bam, bam, back to back. Um, part five, I'm planning, uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos, I'm planning a full, it's mounted on the Jeep um, and we're gonna do a walk around and just show you uh, the function and how it fits and how I set it up. Um, the only thing that's going to be lacking, I know for sure, is the cover. I have a cover. It doesn't fit perfectly, so I just have to kind of make it work for now. Um, but uh, it's coming. That'll be a later video. I'll have to follow up with it. I have, Like I said, I have a cover, and I'm not planning on going hundreds of miles at the moment. So uh, I'm just kind of making do. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.